Hi, my name is Bika Posilides. I'm the Cardiac Program Manager at VNA Healthcare. I'm here to um, talk to you about the telemonitor in our program. We first started with the telemonitor approximately five years ago. We started with 40 telemonitors, focusing more on CHF and hypertensive patients. Um, over the years, we've grown now to having over 200 monitors. Um, we have it on patients um, that we feel would benefit from it, not only cardiac patients, um, respiratory patients, COPD patients, um, neuro patients, dialysis patients. Um, and what it is, it's a device that's placed in the patient's home, and it actually will talk to the patients. Um, we're able to get their vital signs seven days a week, and then all that information gets transmitted to our office where we have a nurse there who will triage the, uh, the readings. They will be either in green, where everything is normal within the patients, a yellow would mean the patients didn't transmit, and if the transmission is in red, it means that for some reason um, it's outside of the parameters parameters that are set, or they answered yes to one of our pre-programmed questions. Um, at that point, the nurse will designate whether um, she needs to call the physician, call the patient directly, or send a nurse out. Um, and the easiest way to demonstrate how this, uh, how this works is to, is to show you it. So the first Good thing- Good morning. It is now time to record your vital signs. Please step on the scale. So the first thing you will do is to ask the, for the patient to step on the scale. If needed, Please step off the scale and sit down on a chair in front of the monitor. Um, for patients who we don't need their weight, we can program this um, so it doesn't ask them for their weight. Then we put the blood pressure cuff on. It comes in four different sizes. Um, patients usually can do this independently or they can have a caretaker. Place the blood pressure cuff on your right arm above the elbow. Tighten it securely. Um, they can have a caretaker who will help with them, them with it. Next we have the finger probe. Goes on their finger just like that. And once everything is on the rest patient, your arm as instructed by your clinician. We tell them just to rest, rest it. The green start BP key. Rest their arms at, um, at heart level um, without bending their elbow. Then we hit the start BP button. And so what it does is, with them stepping on the scale, we get their weight. Um, with the O2 SAT probe here, we're getting their heart rate, their oxygen saturation, and then it's now um, calculating their blood pressure. As I said, we have three different sizes for the cuff. And once this is all done, there's pre-programmed questions. We have actually up to 52 questions that we can ask, we can program. Depending on what the diagnosis is will depend on what questions we ask. We can ask questions about fatigue, about shortness of breath, um, dizziness, headaches, pain, wound questions, um, questions if they had to contact their physician unexpectedly. Please remove the finger sensor and the blood pressure cuff. So then we just take everything off. Please answer the following questions using the yes and no keys. Are you experiencing more difficulty breathing today compared to a normal day? Have your ankles been swollen more than usual? Has your wound changed in size or color? Please remember to take your medications as prescribed by your physician and maintain the proper diet. Thank you for completing your vital signs measurement. So let's the patients know that they've completed everything that they need to. At this point, it transmits, um, as I said, to our office where we have a nurse there who will triage the results. Um, one of the things I did want to mention about this is that it's not covered by insurance. Um, Medicare doesn't cover it, neither do any of the HMOs, but it's part of our care for the patients. So we include this at no cost to them. Thank you.